Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim and welcome back. We're so glad to have you today uh, for this series on the Acts of the Holy Spirit. I believe that God is still moving and the Acts of God, the Acts of the Apostles by the Holy Ghost are still happening today. And we're only going to see an increased measure of the Acts of God on the face of the earth. Uh, today is episode two and I want to talk about times and seasons. And let's go to the book of Acts here, to the Word of God. We'll go to Acts chapter 1, verses 6 all the way to 8. Acts 1, 6 to 8. And the Bible says, when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus said to them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. In this episode, I want to talk about times and seasons. Because I do believe we are meant to be like the tribe of Issachar, one of the tribes of Israel, that understood the signs of the times, the signs of and the seasons of the times of the day. I believe we're meant to understand the will of God. We as prophetic people, we as spirit-filled people, as God's children, we're not meant to live in the dark, always guessing, second, questioning, always being in the land and the realm of mystery. But I believe we're meant to be in the realm of revelation, where things are being revealed, exposed, are being highlighted and downloaded. We're not meant to live in the dark where we live separately from our parents. We live separately from our own father. But no, we're an intimate relationship with the father. So therefore, he reveals his mysteries and secrets to us. The Bible says that God does nothing on the earth until he first reveals it, shares his secrets with his people, with his prophets. And I believe we need to be more attuned to the voice of the Lord and understand the times and the seasons that we are in today. And that is why my job as a man of God is a prophetic voice. My job is to understand the times and seasons, God's appointed times, God's timeline in the greater universe, metaverse, and God's plan. And I believe we're meant to be moving in the oil of Issachar, because Issachar looked up and they understood how to calculate and how to have strategy for victory and war on earth. However, it's interesting here, because before Jesus Yeshua ascended, the disciples asked Jesus a question. Will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Now that is the gazillion dollar question. When will Israel be restored? When will the Messiah return again? When will the temple, the third temple, be restored and be finished in Jerusalem? When will the kingdom be restored once again? And Jesus said to them, it is not for you to know the times and seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Isn't it interesting? For all the Jews, even today, what the Jewish people, the Jewish nation is constantly asking and is looking out for is, when will the Messiah, the Mashiach, return again? When will Jerusalem return back to the golden glory age? as King David and Solomon, and the greater days ahead. When will the Torah, when will these prophecies come to pass? And even in that day, the disciples asked Jesus, when will the kingdom be returned back to Israel? That is the gazillion dollar question. They thought Jesus, although he resurrected from the grave, he rose again from the grave. Death cannot hold him down. And that is a sure sign of the Messiah, the Mashiach, the Savior of the world, the Holy Anointed One that is sent of Jehovah, the fulfillment of all prophecy and the fulfillment of the Torah and of prophecy that He is the Savior of the world. 
So the Jewish people were wondering, Jesus, you're sure you're returning back. Where are you going? But why isn't the kingdom restored yet to Israel? How much longer do we need to wait for these prophecies to come to pass? And Jesus said, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. You see, this has to do with eschatology. This has to do with the end times. And I know that there's many preachers and many pastors that try to calculate the end times, try to calculate signs. Oh, this is a sign of Babylon. This is a sign of the mark of the beast. This is a sign of the Antichrist. This is a sign. Oh, this person, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, President Trump, all these things are signs. Look at Persia. Look at Iran right now. Look at Afghanistan. These are all signs. Gog and Magog. These are all signs of what Revelation and Daniel and the end times talks about. Matthew 24. But let me propose to you that Jesus is saying, it's not for you to know the end times. It is for you to be baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost and to be an effective witness of Jesus Christ. Too many people get caught up in dates, names, details, and things that Jesus himself says, do not worry about. It's not for you to know. Only the Father knows, not even Christ, not even the Son Yeshua knows, but only the Father knows. So why are we trying to figure out and predict and prophesy dates of Jesus' return or prophesy or say, aha, I have the fulfillment, I have the answer to these symbologies. These are metaphors, types and symbols. Who are we to say we have the exact dates, we have the exact etc., etc.? Jesus himself said, it's not for you to know the time. But do you know, but here is what you should know. You should be baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost. And you should be an effective witness unto me from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria to the end of the earth. That is what you should do. You see, only the Father knows this. And I believe that we can have types and shadows or we can have bits and pieces. The Bible says that, uh, that in the prophetic that we all have different measures or we all have different amounts that we all are able to see uh, bits and pieces. However, we cannot have the full picture. Only the Father has a full picture. And I believe before Jesus ascended, he gave this one last word to the disciples. The kingdom will be restored back to Israel. But it's not as you think. It's not as you know. It's not when you think. It's not when you want. But here's the last word. Be baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Preach the gospel. Preach the good news. Preach about the saving power of Yeshua HaMashiach from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria to the ends of the earth. Too many of us are caught up in fear. We're caught up with this end times eschatology, phony baloney nonsense. Listen, people of God, there are going to be harder, difficult times that come. Even today in, in 2022, there's going to be more difficult times. There's going to be more shaking. I believe famine is coming. I've been talking about this for years, especially since Joe Biden is in office right now. But I do believe Joe Biden is going to get kicked out very, very, very soon. Many, many tekel a parson. The writing is on the wall. However, I do believe that there's going to be more difficult times coming. In fact, Jesus promised that. He promised that there will be trials and tribulations. It is through much suffering that you will enter into the kingdom, says God. But I do believe that God does not want us to be caught up with the fear and the details and trying to figure out types and symbols of the end times. But he wants us to rather preach the gospel, receive from the Holy Ghost, and be an effective witness of Jesus Christ. When's the last time you witnessed to another person? 
When's the last time you were a Jehovah Witness? When's the last time you witnessed about the testimony of Jesus Christ to another? Stop trying to be concerned with different things. Stop trying to be concerned with details. Stop trying to figure it out. Just look unto Jesus and be like him to the end of the age. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I pray that the Lord will anoint you with wisdom and revelation and that we would heed the command and the words of Jesus. And may we receive power and may we be an effective witness. Let me know if this word bless you and comment below how you were edified and you received revelation today. Thanks for joining me on this episode as we talked about times and seasons and get ready for the next episode in this series, The Acts of the Holy Spirit.